Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. And uh, I just made a video, but I'm redoing it because it was a bit too loud on the speakers. Um, but uh, just to let you know, hope everybody's okay and love to everybody. Uh, just making a video about Aaron Ra and his people, and and it's to young people today. Those who are young people who who were influenced by him and and Thunderfoot. And and you need to know that. Aaron Ra and Thunderfoot and Theoretical Bullshit and Magic Sandwich Show and, and True Puka were exposed a few weeks ago uh, to, be the, be, to be the frauds that they are. They were challenged to uh, academic debates and they've all ducked it, they've all run away from it. And uh, you see an academic debate <coughs> where someone gives a 20 minute talk, they give a 20 minute talk and then there's cross examination. Uh, with a with a format like that, you can't set things up to make you look good. You've got to just listen to the other person. You've got to uh, really think through the issues, and people can sit there and listen, and and they can assess the situation in in a fair way. But if you do a blog TV debate discussion like they do, um, they can set things up with their own um, moderator. Uh, uh, feeding the questions and uh, guiding the, the whole thing and it's still propaganda it's still making them look good in some way whereas an academic debate opens things up to be more neutral and it, and puts people on a more of a, a fair play and it's not you're not able to manipulate the situation and these academic debates uh, academic debates is something Aaron Ra, Thunderfoot, Theoretical Bullshit, True Puka and Magic Sandwich Show do not engage in. Um, and you need to know that as young people and the fact that they don't engage in these kind of things shows you that you should realize that they've got no real intellectual integrity. You know, they're, they're not as they they're not as big hitters as they as they claim to be, you know. There, there are, there are, they're sort of on a low scale, really, because they're just not willing to engage in proper, open, academic debate, where they will be exposed in a way where they can't manipulate the discussions that they do say on the Magic Sandwich Show. <laughs> and, um, like I said, as a young person, you need to know that the atheist big hitters are on on YouTube were exposed a few weeks ago, and they've been found to be terribly terribly lacking terribly terribly uh, dishonest really because um, they're just not willing to engage in it uh, and you say well Jay but who are you you're just a nobody you 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 you, you haven't got a, uh, any right to claim to have a debate with um, Aaron Ra uh, etc well you know he did come on my channel and he did make comments attacking me so if you can do that, then surely you can have a debate with me. Uh, True Puka has made videos about me and my colleague. And uh, if he can do that, then surely he can have a debate. Theoretical bullshit come on my channel and made comments concerning me. And if he can do that, then he can engage in academic debate. So it's not uh, a, a very good excuse. Uh, these atheists bring up issues like oh well you weren't too good on one debate uh, so we, we can't do academic debates but um, the uh, the debate that I had was a blog TV debate it was not an academic debate I was prepared I prepared my whole resume for that day as an academic debate and that's why I didn't do too good because that I thought it was going to be an academic debate but it ended up me being on a show with three atheists and uh, it was set up, it was propaganda, it wasn't a proper open academic debate where it's not propaganda style, uh, where, it, where it's not manipulated. Um, so again, I've been wanting so long, uh, I've been, I asked, I've asked all the main leaders on YouTube, the main propagators on YouTube, many of them have made videos about me in the past. Uh, for academic debates and they refuse resolutely, they will not engage in it they will not engage in it because they just can't face honest intellectual scrutiny and you need to know that as a young person so 
Why are we waiting, Aaron Ra? Why are we waiting, mate? Why are we waiting, True Puka? Why are we waiting, theoretical bullshit? And Thunderfoot, why are we waiting? We've been waiting a long time, us Christians, to see you have proper academic debates and you won't have them. Can you imagine Thunderfoot up against Dr. Al Muller? Dr. Al Muller would make mincemeat of Thunderfoot. Can you imagine Aaron Ra up against R.C. Sproul? R.C. Sproul would absolutely make mincemeat, but they won't have proper academic debates with proper academics. No, no. Uh, they just pick people who they, uh, in their eyes, can spin the videos to make them look good. So why are we waiting? Aaron Ra. about oh why are we waiting oh why are we waiting cause they do not want to be exposed <laughs> that's what it is mate <clears throat> i'm sorry for the bad singing but at the end of the day you just gotta be you gotta know young people that Aaron Ra was caught with his pants down and the atheist movement were caught with their pants down theoretical bullshit Thunderfoot and True Puka were caught with their pants down it's been embarrassing for them and they're trying to sort the situation out with little spins here and there but at the end of the day we've caught them red handed they're not willing to engage in proper academic debate and it's a terrible indictment of the modern atheist today thank you for listening and god bless you